Make Ooh! Ooh! Nah! Nah! Nah, that's crazy! Performance. That's on crazy! A high note. He said, fur, fur, fur. BAM! He got bro season, bro. He he put bro, he said, fur, 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 fur. BAM! Had bro in a seizure. I hope you alright, though. I hope you alright, bro. I don't like seeing people like that, but I hope you alright, bro. But that was crazy! What's the deal, family? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got another banger for y'all, man. So look. We got the top 10 rarest knockouts in MMA history. All right, about to run this out one time for the one time, man. And look, man, I hope y'all enjoying y'all Sunday, man. I hope y'all enjoyed your weekend. You know, by the time you see this, it may be Monday. I hope you get into the money. I hope you get into the bag. I hope you get into the business, get into work, get into the gym, doing what you got to do. All right, man, that's it. Let's get into this one, man. Another video, you know, we going crazy in 2K24, man. Y'all better go smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let's get to it. This is brought to us by uh, Vote Sport. I think they got some of the best fucking, like, uh, combat sports videos out there. So make sure to go subscribe. Go check them out. You see I'm subscribed. I ain't playing. Uh, go run them up, man. But let's get into this one. Let me know uh, anything else you want me to react to in the comments. Bro gave him the spin cycle. Oh, shit. Oh. Mixed martial arts are about to hit the 30-year mark since their birth in the early 1990s. Still, the sport has come a long way, filled with many masterful knockouts scored oh, by the combat his, visionaries. We've gathered the rarest knockout strikes outside the UFC that deserve to be called a work of art. So sit back and enjoy the show. Now. Oh! Nah, this is crazy. With the abundance of close quarters, Tomahawk elbow. With the abundance of close quarters fighting in MMA, elbow. With the abundance. Nah, dog. Hey, you get folded like this, bro. If you get folded like this, bro, you gotta go get your gun. You gotta get your gun, bro. You got to call the troops, call the soldiers, call the army, the military, the veterans, the hum the, the street homies, the gang members. You got to call everybody. We got to get the guns. I'm not getting knocked out like this, dog. Abundance <laughs> of close quarters fighting in MMA, elbow strikes have always been a must-have skill for the cage gladiators. Going, which Damn, was that right? Right? Fighters rarely employ the trademark tomahawk, which are more commonly seen in movies. Nonetheless, at the one championship event titled Fists of Fury, Mark Abelardo and Emilio Urrutia worked hard to live up to the big headlines. In the last minute of the first round, Abelardo connected with the right hand and immediately started wielding his elbows. Oh, and he is tagged with a hook! Bam! He punches Bam! Up again. His opponent made it to the bell, but allowed a well-aimed tomahawk in the process. Bing! Oh, another one! In the middle of the bout, the Filipino warrior portrayed Ong Bak once again in an award-winning performance and caught his opponent mid-punch. Oh, there you go! There you go! He hey, hey, ref had to... He nah. Shouts out to the ref, dog. That could have been bad. The perfectly placed Tomahawk brought Abelardo a dizzying victory. Speaking of sharp strikes with a bend of the arm, Anderson Silva also made some noise in that department. In 2006, Spider was defending his cage rage title and literally elbowed his way to the UFC. I ain't never seen from the bottom though. The upward reverse elbow began oh, Spider's crazy. era, and the rest is history. In recent years, question mark kicks have been gaining more and more popularity on MMA grounds. Also known as the Brazilian kick, however, the modification resembles a knee strike or a front kick, which often deceives the opponent. At the start of the 2000s, the misleading blow was brought to the world's Shit. attention by kickboxer Glaube Feitosa in his thunderous knockouts. 
In the 2010s, UFC champion Israel Adesanya borrowed the unusual move which paved his- Bro, yo hip mobility gotta be insane to do that. And this is coming from an ex-personal trainer, you feel me? Yo hip mobility for real gotta be crazy for that one. Path to numerous key victories at kickboxing championships worldwide. Oh, put him in a coffin! In MMA, question mark kick knockouts granted Izzy promotion to the UFC in November of 2017. Stuart Dare was the last one standing in Adesanya's way. <laughs> After brutally tricking his opponent's expectations, Adesanya took Dare out. In 2019, European KSW fans witnessed a question mark kick by Alexander Ilich which worked really well against Damian Yanikovsky. Damn! Hey, gotta keep one up, gotta keep one low. <laughs> Shit. The somersault kick, which goes by the name Rolling Thunder, can oh. often be seen in kickboxing rings, because the referee will always stop the fight after a spectacular flip. But in MMA, in order to spin in a whirlwind of rage, you must either have the passion of Justin Gaethje and the way it Gaethje. or possess surgical precision. Yeah. In 2019, Divi Gallon, a European prospect mainly known for his ground skills, proved to be the latter. Ross Pearson, a UFC retiree hoping to make a quick buck, hopped into the cage with Gallon. From the get-go, Davey started throwing back fists. He's not gonna make mistakes. There was no rest for the veteran on the floor either, where he was forced to constantly get out of submissions. In the third round, Gallon went for a spinning elbow. Realizing his mistake, he changed his weapon of choice. Pearson with a body. Oh shit! Oh, he took him out. Goodness! In the last minute of the fight, Galone worked up the courage for the rolling thunder. The crushing kick marked- I'm not gonna lie, bro, like, to trust yourself to hit the dude in the right spot, because when you flip, promotion, dog, you can't see him. <laughs> Once you flip, you can't see, bro, at all. So you gotta just trust within yourself, like, I'm about to knock this fool out with this, with this spinning, with this rolling thunder, you know what I mean? And we ain't talking Call of Duty, you know what I'm saying? You gotta really trust yourself on this one. Into the Premier League, Bellator in this case. In 2017, Ollie Flint, an amateur fighter, performed an under-rotated variation of the Rolling Thunder. Landed a few of those now. Oh! Unbelievable! What was that? Unbelievable! Oh, oh that's nasty. The surface that's air nasty. missile completely incinerated the target. That ain't fair. That ain't fair, homie. Hey. Textbook soccer kicks have long been enjoyed by MMA fans in Asia. Oh, big oh, wow. hit. But promotions outside that region rarely allow booting a grounded opponent. Therefore, in MMA, as in kickboxing, it is considered a form of art knocking the opposition out with a low kick a moment before he touches the ground. This is exactly what happened at Bellator 70, where AJ Matthews with a 5 and 1 score was coming. Hey, hey man, y'all want to see some low kicks, man? Just go to the hood. Get some, uh, get some, get some, uh, some street dudes, bro. They got, they might not know how to, you know, do all the little, you know, everything extra, but guarantee you, I know they got some low kicks. I'm telling you, they got hooks, and they got low kicks. I'm telling you, go to the, get the street dudes. You want to get some, see some low kicks to the dome? Yeah. Just go to the hood, find some street dudes. You're gonna get some low kicks, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> Coming up against veteran Charlie Raider, AJ was bossing the proceedings in the first round without even breaking a sweat. A lot of bounce, a lot of nice movement by Matthews. In the second, the welterweight stepped it up a notch. 
Push kick by Raider. Right hand by Raider. But after trying out his left hook, right low kick combination a couple of times, Matthews finished the bout with an insane strike. One minute 30 remaining in round two. Oh, he's out. He's way out. That is it. There is the stoppage. And a TKO win for Nah, that's crazy, dog. That's crazy. Oh, there is the stoppage. And a Imagine getting knocked out so hard. The dude sits in front of you and prays like you died. <laughs> That's insane, bro. That's insane. Tricking his opponent to lean away from his punch, AJ immediately sent the shin along the way. Charlie disconnected from reality midair. Slips and then bang. That kick was already thrown when his hand. And of course, we could not pass up a surreal confrontation in the Russian promotion M1. Fearing high kicks, Mikhail Gazayev simply refused to rise from his knees oh, for almost bad. the entire fight. This but by the bad. third round, Konstantin Glukhov lost his patience. Oh, smacked! <laughs> what you thought was gonna happen, Despite bro? Despite the disqualification, Glukhov most definitely won the People's Choice Award. How y'all feel about that? Cause fuck it, bro. You might get disqualified, but I'm not about to sit here and play around with this dude running around on his knees like a little girl. Like, get your ass up and let's fight, dog. Like, I'm not even mad at it, bro. I would have did the same thing. Like, all right, bro. So you gonna sit there, no guard, no nothing, no cover, no guard, nothing. I'm about to blast you, dog, and I guarantee you never gonna do that again. Never gonna do that again. And I guarantee you, he didn't. If you know if he did, let me know in the comments. But I guarantee you after that, he never did that again. It's a lesson to be learned, bro. He'll still, he might get disqualified, but guess what? People gonna love him. They gonna buy the next fight that he, they gonna go to the next fight he did just because of that. And he gonna still be able to uh, continue fighting. He just got disqualified for, you know, an illegal move. It's whatever, dog. I'm evolving. He gets the knockout. I get the win. Isn't it obvious? Despite being Man. a common misconception, up kick Ooh. Ooh. and axe kick from the ground are essentially different strikes in terms of their mechanics. Regardless of the laying position of the attacker, in both cases, the up kick's trajectory extends upwards. Damn. Whereas the axe kick is more parabolic. Of course, the most infamous axe kick was deployed by none other than Anderson Silva. In 2006, he first Big met of Yushin the Akami, visiting Hawaii in between Pride and UFC right stints. The Brazilian fighter was dealing strikes in the vertical plane without any visible problems. Akami did try seeking salvation on the ground. And in the middle of the first round, Yushin was lucky to complete a takedown and work on his ground and pound. Much puzzled. He doesn't know what to do. He's looking for the But the spider didn't feel like it. He's giving him no respect. They call him the spider for a reason. Stop playing with him. That's a goat right there. With pride rules fresh in mind, the Brazilian legend to be clocked a grounded samurai with an axe kick. However, the surprised look on Silva's face did not save him from the disqualification for an illegal hit. Five years later, they will meet in the UFC, and this time the spider will have fun within the rules. In the same year, South African-born Alex Shabub, nicknamed the Professor, performed a clinical axe kick. Connecting the rear side of the hand with an opponent's head in a quick spiral motion is Man. widely known as a spinning back fist. Gaining centrifugal force with each degree of turn, it is able to demolish anyone with one devastating touch. But, perhaps, not a single backfist compares to the one utilized by Artur Gusenov back in 2011. Making his US debut with a 9-2 record, the Russian knockout artist was facing with American grappler Tyson Jeffries. At the start, Gusenov, to his misfortune, found himself on the floor, but swiftly returned to his feet. 
Then he demonstrated why he was nicknamed Tornado and destroyed his enemy. Enough, very good job of getting out of it. Damn! Oh Heard that crack on that? An unmatched spitting backfist brought Hussein of the victory and boosted. Bro, <laughs> he knocked An dude. Unmatched spitting. He knocked dude so hard, dude went to give him a hug and apologize. <laughs> <laughs> God, he cracked him so hard. Bro, oh, shit, he cracked him. My bad. He cracked him so hard, dude went to give him a hug and apologize. That's crazy, bro. I ain't never seen that. Backfist brought Hussein of the victory and boosted his career. In 2018, Mzwandele Luongwa, nicknamed Shakebone, put his own spin on a knockout wheel. Yeah, both oh, oh, fantastic spinning back oh What a knockout! What a bat, 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 bat. <laughs> Clash of the unpronounceable names with Torbjorn Madsen, the South African gladiator struck a killer combo. The bro, Viking yeah, bro, mentally leaning. sailed to his native shores before touching the floor. Oh, oh, bro, drunk. The axe kick is considered one of the most difficult among amplitude kicks. But despite the similarity to the movement of an actual axe swing, a chopping kick rarely carries knockout power. Yeah. Like Therefore, what? it is most often used as a distraction. <laughs> In kickboxing, the axe kick was popularized by Andy Hoog. But even the Swiss karate master did not get many knockdowns with this mesmerizing move. Nevertheless, Alfie Davis did manage to pull off a truly staggering act with it. In a 2016 Special Rules fight, the fierce lumberjack took less than three minutes to deal with Nick Baker. Again, with a very good combination coming forward. Beautiful Dang, right on the nose. Wow. With a single smash, Davis slashed his opponent down. Dog, I mean, imagine a heel coming straight down, bow right into your nose. It's a rat, dog. Earning himself the it's nickname, rat, The Axe Man. Beautiful. A year later, in MMA, Icelander Bjorn Thorleifsson enriched his career with a memorable kick. By landing heavy body shots, Bjorn forced his counterpart to make a fatal mistake and drop his hands. Over or they're from the UK, but what a reception for this man! Rich Rich was taking a close and he's seen enough! Wow! The ability to execute a tornado kick is without a doubt crucial for any big screen action star. But even outside of a movie set, the whirling move proved to be a work of wonders in kickboxing. Oh, that's nice. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh my god! His soul left his body, bruh. His soul is left his body that's his soul his soul his spirit everything his energy the inertia whatever you want to call it ghost whatever dog it's gone it's gone it's gonna come back but they had to get had to get up on out of there he didn't want no parts of whatever was going on his spirit said i don't want no parts of this shit no more i'll be back when you all right <laughs> Israel Adesanya, for example, did not fight shy of using it. Amateur MMA enthusiasts found the stunt to their liking, too. Deontay Brown amused the crowd in his debut, which made the headlines of the sports press. But the unequivocal wielders of Tornado Magic are, of course, the professionals. Who is in 2012, accomplished British striker Michael Page made his MMA debut. Ben Dishman had the bad luck to be his victim. For a full minute, Michael took great pleasure in bullying his opponent. Showboat. What is you doing? Bro? You about to get maneuver summed up the fight. Page's corner. The London shoot fighter screaming at him, telling him to take it seriously. And there's a spinning kick. Oh, that is unbelievable. Wow. The fact he just stood After there. turning 360 degrees, Page sent his counterpart into a stumble and fall. Screaming at Antonio oh! seriously, and there's a spinning kick. Soon his talents would be picked up by Bellator, where Venom would go on to make a name for himself. Can come back. A year before that, Adam Khaliyev demonstrated the same visual extravaganza. In his second MMA fight, the Russian middleweight took apart the experienced oh, opponent for two minutes with his signature kicks. 
However, on the third minute, the bout was finished by a tornado forming right in the ring. Oh, he's scared. Bam! Oh shit! Living highlight is the perfect description of knockout virtuoso Raymond Daniels. After spending two decades in the ring, he gained fame as a world champion in a multitude of striking disciplines. Daniels also won the trilogy against Michael Page, but that's a whole other story. Later, Raymond won the Bellator kickboxing title. Likewise, his glory run ended on a wave of success with insane fight compilations. Footwork and there's a blistering spinning back kick and Bam! Oh, this dude's a ninja! Daniels was ready for the transfer to mixed martial arts. In a 2019 clash, the American welterweight was about to spoil the debut of Wilker Barrows. For four minutes straight, Raymond amused the audience with his obligatory entertainment program. And when the thrown off balance opponent was near the fence, Living Highlight ended the performance on a high note. Make Nah! Nah! Nah, that's crazy! Performance. That's on crazy! A high note. He said, fur, 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 BAM! He got bro season, bro. He he put bro, he said, fur, 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 BAM! Had bro in a seizure. I hope you all right, though. I hope you all right, bro. I don't like seeing people like that, but I hope you all right, bro. But that was crazy! Raymond turned around twice and drilled a tornado punch into Barros' head. The Not right out. hand sent his adversary into oblivion. Love those spinning the world of mixed martial arts has original and suave knockouts that can truly amaze. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. Oh my god, that was fire. I gotta smash the like button on that one. That was that was unreal, bro. Oh my gosh. Whoa! Top 10 rarest knockouts in MMA history. I hope y'all enjoyed that video. Y'all know what to do, man. Go smash that like button with me, dog. You know what I mean? Uh hit that subscribe button if you ain't a part of the team already. We about to go up this year. Make sure you here early. I think this might be, you know, maybe this year, maybe next year might be the last year. I was like, hey, you was there from the beginning. Cause after I hit 100k, it ain't the beginning no more. You know what I mean? So make sure you uh you want to ride the wave, man. Get your surfboard. You feel me? But that's it. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed that, man. Give me more videos to react to. If there's any of these specific fighters through this compilation you want me to check out, get at me in the comments, man. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Remember to keep it real. Real is rare. Real always reaches everyone. Next time, peace.